To write the name for ZnBr2, we first need to recognize that we have a metal and a nonmetal. So in general, when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. In this case, it would be a binary ionic compound because we have two different elements. For binary ionic compounds, we use these rules here. So to write the name for ZnBr2, we first write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. So we have Zn, which is zinc. So we have our zinc, then we write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. So we have bromine, and we write lowercase b. From here, what we'll do is we'll replace the ending with IDE. So we cross this out and write IDE. So the name for ZnBr2 is zinc bromide. Note that because zinc and bromine, the electronegativity difference isn't as large as other ionic compounds, there's a lot of covalent character to this compound. So sometimes you'll see this name as zinc dibromide, but the official name, the IUPAC name, is zinc bromide. One final note, zinc is a transition metal, so you might be wondering why we didn't write zinc Roman numeral two bromide. Zinc's kind of a special case. We look at this periodic table here, we can see that most of the transition metals, we don't know what the charge is going to be. We don't know their ionic charge. But for zinc here, zinc always has a 2 plus ionic charge. And for that reason, we don't have to write the Roman numeral 2. This is Dr. B with the name for ZnBr2, zinc bromide. Thanks for watching.